visit www.freewebhostingarea.com. Once you're there, look for the free subdomain hosting area. Select a username and extension. You may want to standardize the address with the school name, student name, and class ID. A good idea is to have everyone select the same extension. This makes it easier to know people's URL. When you're done, click Proceed. Complete the registration form. Type in an email address and password. Select that you read the terms and then click Create. A welcome screen appears. It contains your account information. Print this screen or copy the text to another document. This information will not be emailed and you need it to know the control panel link, username, and password. Plus, it contains your FTP information. Click the control panel link. Type your username and password, then click Log in. You will see the members area. It has your account information. Click File Manager. Type in your FTP server, username, password, and then click Login. There are files by default already in your folder. The README file has your account information. To create a new HTML file, click New File. Type Index dot html to give the file a name. In the space below, type your html code. When you are done, click save. Click the back arrow. To preview the file, click open beside index.html. The web page appears. When you are done looking at it, click the back arrow on the web browser tab to continue to edit your page. To edit your web page, click Edit beside the index.html file.